Hello, I'm Phyllis Teitelbaum, Cancer Resource Nurse at Baptist Health South Florida in Miami. You probably already know that genetic tests for hereditary cancers can provide life-saving information for families with a hereditary predisposition to cancer. But did you know that some people refuse that testing because they fear that the results could be used to deny them health insurance or employment? My colleague, Ray Rubel, Baptist Health's genetic risk education nurse, will tell you how a federal law puts those fears to rest. Genetic tests are used to confirm whether people are carriers of genetic mutations that may increase their risk of developing certain cancers. If a harmful mutation is found, personalized screening and cancer prevention recommendations can be made to prevent cancer from developing or to catch it early while it's easier to treat. Unfortunately, genetic discrimination has occurred in our country. Employers have used genetic information to deny employment or to fire employees. Health insurers have used genetic test results to try to prove that a newly diagnosed disease was a pre-existing condition. These activities stopped in 2008 when the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, or GINA, was signed into federal law. The law makes it illegal for health insurers or employers to discriminate against individuals based on their genetic information. It applies to all employers, regardless of the number of employees, but does not include the U.S. military, Veterans Administration, or Indian Health Service. Specifically, GINA prohibits health insurers from denying coverage or increasing premiums based on an individual's or their family member's genetic information. It prohibits health insurers from requiring that individuals receive genetic testing. It prohibits employers from requiring genetic testing or purchasing the results of employees or their family members' genetic tests. Employers, however, can collect genetic information for employee wellness programs. GINA stops employers from using a person's genetic information to influence hiring, firing, assignment, or promotion decisions. GINA does not, however, protect against possible genetic discrimination for life, disability, or long-term care insurance. Because of GINA, genetic discrimination in obtaining health insurance or employment has been eliminated. Therefore, these areas are no longer areas of concern when considering genetic testing for hereditary cancer. I hope this information encourages more people to take advantage of genetic testing, to not be afraid of health insurance or employment consequences. If you have any questions about genetic testing for hereditary cancer at Baptist Health South Florida, send an email to me at cancerinfo at baptisthealth.net.